Verse 7 of the third chapter of the Gospel of Matthew is here. We're in the narrative Matthew provides describing John the Baptist. He's indicated that many, many people were going out to be baptized. In the process, they were confessing their sins. But now a little bit of a different theme is introduced as we hear of the religious leaders who were also showing up, so Idun. Uh, Idon is uh, from the word for to see. It could be Edo or even Blepo. It's an aorist participle here, aorist active participle, masculine, singular, nominative, referring to the subject of the sentence, who is John himself. So the aorist participle puts it uh, in time preceding the time of the leading verb, which is uh, way down here. So uh, having seen would be the idea, but having seen, post-positive, polus, the adjective. Uh, it's in the accusative. It's the direct object of the verb. So having seen many, many is an adjective modifying uh, its noun, pharisaion, the Pharisees. So having seen many of the, the genitive, uh, plural masculine article, many of the Pharisees, kai, sadu, kion, Sadducees. So the article here goes with both of those nouns. Having seen many of the Pharisees, genitive plural, and Sadducees, genitive plural, then describing them. Uh, so he saw many, uh, and the um, participle here is in the accusative because it, uh, again, is going along with the many that he saw. So having seen many coming. So many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming. It's a present participle, present uh, middle in form, active in meaning. A participle, masculine, plural, accusative. So many were coming, present. Epi, preposition, means over or on. So coming on or onto. To, this is the accusative, baptisma, onto the baptism in the accusative. So he saw many Pharisees, Sadducees coming upon the baptism. Out two of him, genitive, singular, um, masculine. So coming to his baptism, apen, he said. Uh, simple aorist here, he said from Lego, I say, third person singular, aorist active indicative, indirect object. Autois, the dative, plural, masculine, he said to them. And then genemata, this is from ganao. Uh, it's a word that means to be the father of or to give birth to. This is a noun form of that uh, verb. So genemata would mean the offspring of, those who are born of, would be the idea. This is the uh, nominative here. It's a neuter nominative uh, noun. So generation and then echidnon. This is uh, a word that means a poisonous snake, a viper. Uh, so offspring of vipers is the uh, sense generally. And then the interrogative pronoun here, masculine singular uh, nominative, who, who pedegzen. This is from uh, uh, deknumi, which mean or dek, I should say deknuo, really. It's the uh, uh, verb that means <clears throat> to show something, to indicate something. Deknubi is a, another form of it in the New Testament, and this is that form. Hupe degzen uh, is the idea of indicating something. The hupo means to show it under, and normally in the New Testament it simply means to teach, uh, to pro put something under the gaze of somebody else for the purpose of learning it. So uh, you might almost render this, uh, John is saying, who taught you? Uh, rather than who warned you, which is the way it's normally rendered, but of course either one communicates the idea adequately enough. So generation of poisonous snakes, you uh, offspring of these snakes, who taught you, whom in here is the uh, object of this, is in the dative plural, so who warned you. Uh, fugain is from fugo, it means I flee or I run, this is the present uh, infinitive, so who warned you to flee? Apo, preposition, takes the uh, genitive from, taste, the genitive singular uh, feminine, taste or gaze, this is the feminine noun, and then the uh, intervening participle here uh, is the present active participle, feminine singular genitive, 
So the coming, mello means I am about to or I am going to, usually in suggesting immediate action. So the coming wrath would be the idea, orgase, the word for wrath, a word orge or orgy comes from this, meaning a kind of uh, um, boundless wrath, something without any limits. So who taught them to flee from the coming wrath, referring of course to the wrath that is associated with the coming of Messiah. Messiah came both in a redemptive capacity but also in the complex of his first coming in a, a context of judgment and of course the judgments that were eventually poured out on Israel and on Jerusalem with that generation uh, would be the wrath that uh, John is referring to here.